Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with an updated makeup collection and filming setup video. I did one of these last year and I decided that because I have changed my room around a lot and I have bought quite a bit more makeup since I had last year that it was probably time to do an updated one of these. So this is just kind of my overall setup here. Down on the second shelf I have my perfumes and some jewelry and some lotion and I will get into that in just a second but we're gonna start off with the what is up here on the top shelf where I have my two makeup drawers and brushes and other things like that alright so I'm trying to hold the camera and point at the same time so hopefully it's not too wobbly for you guys and hopefully I'm not covering the microphone or anything like that so this container right here is from Target um, I got it in the dollar section probably about a year ago. Um, I need to get another one of these, as you guys can tell, because my Lorac Pro palette is kind of sitting on top of the Naked palette, so yeah. Um, what I have here is just my Too Faced, a few of my favorite things palette, my Lorac Pro palette, and then under the Lorac Pro palette I have my Naked 3, Naked 2, and Naked 1 palettes from Urban Decay. And then if we move on top of these two containers, I just have some of my nail polishes. These are not all of my nail polishes, it just, I have some down here and some up at my grandparents' house, um, and these are just the ones that I have down here. Even though I haven't really been painting my nails, I've been getting gel manicures, um, which you guys can definitely not see that. Um, but I've been getting the gel manicure since it's kind of growing out, but anyways, um, yeah, so I haven't really painted my nails. Then I just have my little brush holder. This is actually from the dollar store. It was only a dollar, um, and I just have like a whole bunch of different brushes, my eyelash curler, and just all of my brushes. I need to get another one of these because this one is kind of overflowing with brushes. And then down here, I just have my beauty blender. Over here I have some sunglasses, some bobby pins, and some random hair ties. This is just kind of a little messy spot that I need to find a home for the hair ties and sunglasses and not put them up on top of my makeup drawer. These two little drawer things are from Target. They were on sale when I got them and I believe they were about $7 a piece, which I thought was a pretty good price. So starting in this first drawer here, I have a lot of products that I use quite a bit. So you guys might notice my NARS Laguna Bronzer. This is my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Milani Barium More Blush. You guys know I use that in my Revlon Highlighting Palette. Elf Cream Eyeliner. Maybelline Mascara. This is just kind of my drawer that I tend to reach for a lot of these products the most. And then in the second drawer here I have all of my eyeshadows. Well this isn't all of my eyeshadows. I actually have another drawer for like cream eyeshadows and stuff. But over here I have all of my L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. I have an e.l.f. baked eyeshadow. These are my NYX eyeshadows. I have some MAC eyeshadows back here. My Maybelline The Nudes palette. My Urban Decay Naked Basics. And this is a little e.l.f. palette that has um, some MAC refill pans, MAC eyeshadow refill pans in it. This is my little CoverGirl trio that I use a lot. I have some Revlon quads under there, some Maybelline quads, my LA Colors palettes back there, and then this is the Benefit World Famous Neutrals kit, I believe, back there. Then in this next drawer, I have some of my blushes and powders and stuff like that. So we have um, this e.l.f. blush. And I believe this is in, what is color? Is this in Candid Coral? You guys probably remember this blush. I use it a lot. Um, this is my Bellissimo Bronze from Milani. My Maybelline Glaze blush. Oh, this is actually pretty new. This is an e.l.f. blush palette. And this is in the shade Light. I'm going to try to open this with my left hand. Alright, finally got it. So, this is actually pretty new to me. Um, and I haven't really played around with this too much, but it has four colors, and from what I've swatched, these are very, very pigmented, so I can't wait to try these out. Oh, and here's a little Revlon blush in peach, or oh baby pink, yeah. I have a lot of mascaras and um, more eyeshadows, and this is where I have put all of my cream eyeshadows, so you guys will see a lot of Maybelline um, color tattoo, my e.l.f. cream eyeshadows over here. Towards the front of this drawer here, I have my NYX 
um, pencils, and then I have the Lorac primer. Um, towards the back, I have some of the little LA Color um, Little Black Book of Eyeshadows, some e.l.f. palettes back there. This is from Urban Decay. It's a little primer book. I These are probably kind of dried out by now, um, but this came with the um, Naked 3 palette. We're about ready to enter my lip product drawer, so get ready for this, you guys. You think my eyeshadow addiction is bad? Can we just look at all of these lip colors in here? Oh my goodness. You never realize how much of a makeup porter you actually are until you go through your makeup collection on camera. In here I have a variety of lipsticks. I have some Milani lipstick. This, this one's actually a really pretty color. This one is in Nude Creme. I love this color. Um, I have a NYX lip gloss. This is the one of the Mega Shine lip glosses. What color is this? And Sugar Pie. It's a very pretty color. My Kate Moss lipstick that actually has a name. Oh my goodness. Do you guys remember when I found out the name of this? It's actually Lasting Finish in Rosetto. I, oh my gosh. I did not know this color had a name for literally the longest time. Um, I have a bunch of little Maybelline baby lips floating around in here. Some EOS lip balms. These are some Stila lip glazes that I got at Ulta. They're super cheap to get them at Ulta, so definitely keep that in mind. This is a NYX matte lipstick. This is in the shade New Indie Flick. I got this because Miss Glamorazzi was wearing it and kind of recommended it. So I ended up buying that for that reason. I actually haven't worn it yet. Haven't even swatched it for my blog yet. Now, this bottom drawer here is kind of a disaster, I have to say. Um, this is kind of like the miscellaneous drawer where I have, like, some different things. These are actually some Mary Kay eyeshadow samples that I've had for a while. This is a foundation sample for Makeup Forever. Um, and a lot of these samples are things that I have either had for myself or I have gotten samples for a client who wanted to try a foundation that I didn't have. Um, this is my Elizabeth and James um, white perfume and then the black perfume, um, or yeah, the Nirvana perfume by Mary Kate Nashley. Kind of obsessed with that. Want to buy the full size. Haven't made it yet. Um, I have an EOS hand lotion. Back here I have some hand sanitizers. This Coyote from Bath and Body Works. Um, more foundation samples. My Coastal Scents Go Palette, Sydney, that I love this palette. I don't use it very often, but it means a lot to me because I won it from Carly Christman. She had a Twitter contest, and I got the question right, and I was first, and so I got the palette, and I was so excited. Um, oh, this is from my Benefit Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow. Um, I thought the little box that it came in was too cute, so I couldn't get rid of it, right? Um headband, some eyelashes, some more perfume samples, some lash glue, just pretty much anything you can think of. This is actually my old NARS Laguna bronzer that broke and I don't know why I didn't throw it away. Don't ask me. I am like a makeup hoarder. So yeah, this is like kind of the miscellaneous gross drawer that needs to be gone through and probably some stuff thrown away. Alright, so now we're on this second shelf here and I wanted to show you guys this jewelry stuff even though it has nothing to do with my makeup collection but it's on the same shelf as my perfume so I'm like why not right so this is my necklace that I wear in like every video it is from Tiffany's um I got it like a long long time ago it means a lot to me um so I wear it practically every day I have some thumbtacks back there not sure why those are there this super cute necklace, I believe, is from, it's either Charlotte Russe or Forever 21, I can't remember. Um, but these are my, this is my glasses case for my glasses that, um, it's a Kate Spade case. Even though my glasses are not actually Kate Spade, um, I have glasses because I cannot see far away. Like, anything far away is, like, blurry to me, so, yeah. Then, these are just some reading glasses that I haven't really played around too much with, um, and basically what they are for is for whenever I do makeup, if I have a hard time like seeing the different stuff. So far I haven't had any problems, but those are just in case I need to. This necklace back here is all of these charms. It is from Charlotte Russe. These earrings I believe are from Clears. 
this super cute cat watch back here that I love, 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 love. It is from Charming Charlie's. As for lotions over here, not all of my lotions are over here. A lot of them are actually in my bathroom. I have the Righteous Body Butter from uh, Soap and Glory. A Victoria's Secret Pink Lotion, and this is a niche um, name, Lost in Love. Jingle Bellini Peachy Scent thing from Bath and Body Works. I have some Victoria's Secret Body Sprays. Rio um, Lotion from Bath and Body Works. Vanilla something. Uh, perfumes here. This is Taylor Swift Wonderstruck. And this is Victoria's Secret Bombshell, which smells amazing. So now I wanted to take you guys over to my desk over here because this is where I have some more beauty products. And this is actually where I film a lot of my videos on my desk. Um, I'll start over here actually real quick. So I just have my phone right here. It's currently charging my sound machine to sleep with. I have a glass of water. And I have my little... Um, thing from Target. If you watched my Valentine's Day DIY video, then you probably recognize this little cute container. This is a candle jar that I put glitter in, um, and I have, I'll have link that below if you guys want to make one of these yourself. Um, and here I have a couple foundations that I am going to be doing my first impressions on very soon. This is just the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation. Um, and then back here I have my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and my Maybelline Instant Age Wine Concealer and Brightener Illuminator. I keep these in this super cute little container because I want them to be like standing up. I don't want them laying down because I'm afraid that they might leak or something like that. So I like to keep them in this thing. I have a mirror. Um, hi. How are you guys doing? There's my camera. Um, I use the Canon T3i in case you all didn't know. I don't actually have makeup on, so I am going to skip on by this. So then I have a super cute little smiley face thing. I absolutely love this because it's so bright and yellow, and I think it's really, really cute. Um, and this is actually from my auntie, and I could put stuff inside of it. I haven't yet, but I might do that one of these days. Um, but I just think it's really bright and cheerful being super bright yellow. And then back here, oh, hello again. <laughs> Um, this is just a MAC bag from MAC Cosmetics. I have a really, like, bad habit of keeping bags like this because, I mean, MAC bags are, they're just so cute. And as, like, a makeup lover, I'm like, I have to keep my MAC bag right. Alrighty, guys. So that is it for my makeup collection video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys like how I have my little makeup set up. And if you did like this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do. I am uploading every other day for the month of May, so you guys will be notified every time I upload a new video. Hope you guys are having a great day. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.